The power of Insight helps you quickly compare the performance of different model scheme and scenario for your project. Within Insight, when talking about scenario, we are referring to a set of factor settings. When exploring factor settings in Insight, you can set ranges and compare potential design options. These factor settings, save as scenarios, can be applied to any model for in the Insight. First, let's take a look at comparing model within an insight. In our case, we have three models with different geometry, and we want to compare them using the same set of range setting so we can evaluate the influence of the building geometry on the energy performances. We previously generated an insight on these three models using the basic workflow described in a previous video. Once you open your Insight collection from the Insight web page, on the left side, you can see and access all your analyzed model. On the right side, the model comparison chart allows you to compare the performance of your models in the Insight. Each bar in the model comparison graph represents one model. Hover over each bar to see the maximum, mean, and minimum values of energy cost or EUI and the name of the scenario, if any, apply to your model. The model comparison chart will update as you will apply different scenarios to these models. Now, let's take a look at how you can create a scenario that you can apply to your model. Within Insight, a scenario is a defined set of factor settings. You can select which model to apply the scenario to, but by default, it will apply to all the models in your selected collection. There are sample scenarios available, such as Sample Net Zero and Sample Architecture 2030. These scenarios are for you to apply to your model and help you look at factor options that will guide you toward designing for various energy performance goals. Now, let's take a look at how to create a scenario. To create a scenario, click on the model to open the page with factor widgets and edit the factors to reflect our desired settings. We want to see how infiltration and wind-to-world ratio affect our model. So change these factors as shown here. Open the infiltration widget and choose a range from the beam model setting to a more airtight setting of 0.17 air changes per hour. Notice how the color of the energy cost range dial changed from red to yellow, indicating we are moving to a higher performance building design. On the energy cost range dial, you can mouse over the different tick mark to see the Architecture 2030 benchmark, the energy cost mean, and the ASHRAE 90.1 benchmark. Now, let's take a look at window to wall ratio at different orientation. On the south wall, because it can often cause a heat gain, we will choose a smaller amount of window ratio. We don't know exactly the amount, but let's select a range between 30 to 40% and close the widget. North walls can often offer higher quality light for day lightning without too much heat gain from the sun. In this example, let's highlight a range between 50 to 30% since we don't know exactly how we'll design our final model. Western walls, again, can have problem with excessive heat gain, so we'll select smaller window to wall ratio. And finally, on the east façade, similar to the west, we'll choose a smaller amount of glazing. Then, click on Add Scenario icon on the top right of the page. On the left panel, click on the icon to open the list of scenarios. From here, you can rename your scenario, for instance, using the name of your setting, such as Infiltration and Window-to-Wall Ratio. Then, click on Go Back to Insight, Open the Scenario drop-down menu from the top of the Model Comparison chart and click on your Infiltration and Window-to-Wall ratio. This will apply the factor settings from your newly created scenario to the model in your Insight. The scenario created for any model in an Insight will be available to apply to any model within that Insight collection. When you make a scenario a favorite by clicking the star next to its name in the Scenario drop-down menu, it becomes available to apply to any model within any Insight collections you may create with your A360 account. Note 
that scenario can only be edited or deleted from within the model used to create them. You can also create multiple scenarios within a single model and compare the influence of those scenarios on that one model. For this example, let's create a few more scenarios for the model by building up on the scenario we've already created. We've already created the infiltration and window-to-world ratio scenario. We also previously created the scenario where we excluded the uninsulated option from the roof and the wall construction. And this scenario also included the infiltration and window-to-world ratio settings. By clicking on this scenario, it will apply to this model. Now, we'll create a third scenario building up on the two previous existing scenarios. We'll change the schedule to include 12.6 and 12.5 and the beam setting because we know the building will not operate more than that. We now start looking at internal loads in the building by improving the plug load efficiency, which you can see has a greater impact as the curve is steeper. We'll look at lighting efficiency and daylighting and occupancy control as well. Create a scenario and name it Schedule and Internal Loads. Finally, we'll do one more scenario to include a photovoltaic system to our project. In this example, we will cover between 75 and 90% of the roof with photovoltaic panel. We choose the highest efficiency panel and will allow a payback period to be between 20 to 30 years. Notice how the energy cost range has now changed from yellow to green. Let's go ahead and save this scenario. We will now compare this saved scenario within this model. Click on the Scenario Comparison icon on the top right corner of the Insight interface. You can see the range and the cost differential by hovering over each graph bar. Finally, you can see that the most efficient of our scenario is the last one with added photovoltaic. If you go back to Insight, you'll now see all the newly created scenarios in the model comparison panel. 